What's up everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. The time has come, you've all been asking for the car packs, so I'm giving you guys some cars. So, I know I've been working on the 800 horsepower um, competition cars. It, with the summertime, I've been extremely busy with things and got a little bit behind, and I do apologize, but I'm giving you guys some cars. You know, a lot of you guys have been asking for some of the cars that I drive on the daily with my buddy Nate, who's here today. He's in the session. We're going to be joining him in a little bit to do some tandems, but we are going to be dropping today the 350Z, the first one of the first cars I ever made that I just feel is one of my best handling and favorite handling cars. Of course, you know, it's got the bash bar, which has been modified since the last time you guys have seen it. Evil Rabbit energy steering wheels and energy seats, as well as the 180 missile car that I've been running a lot. I definitely love this missile car a lot with the, you know, no bumper, exposed hood, over fenders, and the crinkled in quarter with the broken rear bumper, as well as, you know, the energy, you know, Evil Rabbit seats, and this was the car that I started working with some fancy lighting all throughout the, you know, fenders underneath, you know, in the interior, the lights in the back. You guys have seen me drive this car a lot, so that car's also coming to you guys public, as well as my buddy Nate's 13. His uh, 13 that I built him for the first time he started drifting in a set of Corsa, I built him this 13 with my physics and stuff like that, and, you know, ripped off some stuff, broke some things up, you know, had a lot of fun you know, messing around with the missile car look because he wanted a missile car when he first started drifting in the game because, you know, well, when you first start drifting, you have a missile car. So definitely been the car he started off with, so that one's also coming out. So we're going to be getting three cars out today for you guys, the 350Z, the 180SX, and the S13, all of which will be in the description box below, Google Drive links down below. Download them, give them a shot, let them run for yourself. Let me know what you guys think, tag me on Instagram and stuff like that. So... I'm going to get down to the nitty gritty and get into some tandems to have a little fun. But like I said, all of them are in the description box. I do apologize for the wait for a lot of the cars. I've been just super busy with everything in the summer. I got some other things going on, some other projects going on. So going to be getting back more into the modeling and stuff like that with some grip cars and some more drift cars. So enough talky talky. Let's go sideways because I know you guys came to see the car slide. So let's get some tandems. Let's go join Nate in the server. I think we're going to go to Clutch Kickers. And we're going to have uh, some bashing door fun and some missile cars. All right. Oh, I see a 13 on track. I'm going to wait for him to come up. So you guys have seen these cars a lot of times in videos. And you guys know who Nate is. Just throw it in on the door maybe. Right away. Nothing but a thing. They're missile cars, right? You in third? Oh, I'm actually running second through some of this. That's probably why I'm over chasing you. Here I do a little third gear out of here. So this 180 does have a different uh, sound package from other videos. You guys have definitely heard the blow off valves a little bit louder. There's a little more crack to it. Uh, the 350Z does have a little bit modified of a audio package from other times you guys have seen it in videos, as well as a new roll bar in the front, or bash bar in the front, and stuff like that. So, oh man, these cars just flow so good. Oh, I'm gonna take that. 
No wonder my back quarter's destroyed. From you clipping me? Yeah. I mean, probably. That's all my fault. So for all you wheel guys out there, um, hopefully I'll be getting my hands on some of them soon. But if you guys checked NRG Innovations Instagram, you saw the drop of the brand new Thrustmaster NRG quick release system. If you guys haven't seen that, make sure you go check out Get NRG's Instagram. They posted a video about it. A full, basically, bill of aluminum or, you know, I think it's billet, uh, designed to screw right into Thrustmaster with its own quick release system for the Thrustmaster bases. Definitely a sick thing. I know they have one for the G920 coming out too. Because I'm gonna try to get my hands on some of those, maybe do some giveaways with them. So, like, make sure you check out their Instagram. If you didn't see anything about that, I'm going to be trying to get my hands on one and uh, maybe get it over into Nate's hands because I know he's rocking that Thrustmaster. Just a tap. <laughs> Hanging that out there. Trying a really bad 360 and I stalled it. I'm gonna switch to the Z. No concern. Oh, I forgot this car's a little bit more gripped up. I and I also <laughs> threw it out into the dirt. <laughs> I forgot the Z is a little more gripped up than the 180 and the 13. It's a new sound. I like it. What's up? That you said that one was a new sound as well. Correct? Yeah, it is. It does, it does sound good. Got some pops to it. Some big fireballs out the back. Oh, okay. This is oh. not that much of a missile car, but you gotta go that way. I I I uh, I, I, I messed up. That was, that was a big fireball from the back of that car <laughs> from your 13. I forget how big the I, fireballs are. I lost which uh hand my paddle was on, and I accidentally downshifted instead of upshifting. So fair. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy these cars. A lot of people who downloaded the original 13 and my 14 loved those cars. These cars are on the same physics platform, but a little bit different. Each car has its own little quirkiness. So I hope you guys enjoy these cars as much as you enjoyed the first ones. And oh boy. And like I said, make sure you tag me on Instagram if you guys make a clip or whatever of the cars and let me know what you guys think of them down either in the comments or on Instagram. It's always cool to see when people tag me in little drift clips of using my cars. That's a wheel rub. Almost didn't give me room to transition there, buddy. Almost didn't. Almost didn't. Finally getting used to drifting in these shoes. I know a lot of people gave me hate for wearing socks and bare feet drifting. Well, I got shoes on, so you guys can't give me hate. Wow, I'm just hanging that out there. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, you can take the pass if you want. Ah, oh, final two. I think we're going to rock one more lap here or so in these cars to end this episode off. So, Nate, you've been driving these missile cars and stuff for a very long time since the beginning when I got them going. It, that was your first car. So car you, the car you learned to drift in. They're, they're very easily drivable, but they can also get some nasty angle and stuff like that. That's why I think people actually like my cars. What do you? What's your take on that? Uh, they, I agree. They are very nice to handle. Uh, since day one, I was able to get in one of these and learn rather quickly and easily. It was, uh, it was more fluid than a lot of the other vehicles I've tried. And it's not even one of those things where once you get over a learning curve where you have to move up, the cars are still good enough to where you can throw those nasty angles and you don't get bored. You don't get out of that learning curve. It's just still so much fun to throw down even once you actually learn how to drift in these cars. So with that being said, I want your guys' take in the comments on these cars for sure. 
you know, if you if you love them, let me know. If you hate them, let me know. If there's something you don't like about them, something you think that I should have done different, whether it be with the way the cars handle, tire types, or whatever, let me know because criticism, whether it be uh oh, good or bad, constructive criticism also works to help make better cars in the future. So. As always, I like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. And as always, a big thank you to my buddy Nate for coming out, having a little fun, sliding with me. So, I will see you guys oh, on the next one or on the track. Out.